Oh, what's up, everybody? The Baritone King's back in town with a brand new toy. I'm the Baritone King. Not really, but kind of, sort of. Anyway, man, yeah, dude, we got a brand new 30-inch Baritone to check out. I'm so stoked to get into today's video. Let's start rambling, shall we? This guitar is a Firefly Baritone, and thanks to you guys, I was able to get this here on the channel, and if it wasn't for you guys letting me know about this brand new Baritone guitar on the market, I probably would have missed it. In case you guys missed the unboxing, yeah, my mom bought me this for my birthday, man. Shout out to moms, right? Moms are the best. And uh, yeah, man, she got me something really, really cool and something really special. And I can't wait to just continue to play with it. I've been playing it for the better part of a month now. And I'm just really stoked to finally share it with you all today. So this guitar is actually called a Firefly FFJA6 Baritone Electric Guitar in Sunburst Color. And this is on the guitarsgarden.com website. So a really kind of obscure and maybe not obscure is not the right word. Certainly a less known um, you know, online dealer. So yeah, man, I don't really know much about this brand or these, these guitars at all, but you know, like I said, thanks to you guys, I was able to get one before they finally sold out. Actually two or three days after my mom got me this for my birthday, they sold out on the website and they haven't been in stock since. So I think these things are becoming incredibly rare, desirable, and you know, they may be taking the place of the Squire Vintage Modified Baritone Jazzmaster. But to be fair, nothing will ever really beat my pride and joy. This is probably still like my favorite guitar, man. And I continue to play it and ding it up and gig with it. And it's just been with me now for like three years, give or take. And it's just been, you know, a staple of not only my creative flow, my solo album, Chronic Pain, but, you know, playing gigs and, you know, what have you, man. It's a, it's a workhorse. But anyway, back to this guitar. This guitar might be taking that place of this guitar very soon. So according to the Guitar Gardens website, this guitar has a mahogany body, rosewood fretboard, 30-inch baritone scale length. One thing that's really interesting, it says stainless steel and ball and frets. I'm not exactly sure if that's saying that this has stainless steel frets. If it does, like what a bargain. So now enough talking about it, let's jam real quick. But before we do, I want to give a huge shout out to today's sponsor and that is DistroKid. DistroKid has been a longtime supporter of this channel and today they have something brand new for us to talk about. And honestly, everybody, full transparency, I'm so excited to talk about this new feature that DistroKid has added onto their platform and that is Mixia. Mixia is a mastering service for all musicians and creators that use DistroKid. As somebody who started this career with zero musical background and or knowledge on how to mix and or master, this is a perfect tool for me in present day, but I certainly wish I had it back in the day when I first started. So basically how it works is you upload a track, DistroKid and Mixia do their thing and it masters it for you and then you have the ability to tweak it to your liking. You can mess with the overall intensity, you can mess with the EQ, make it more warmer or brighter. You have unlimited previews with your master tracks and one free download. And for $99 a year, you're able to upload and master as many tracks as you want. So basically, step one, upload the file. Step two, listen and customize. Step three, download the track. So to give a little sample of what Mixia can do for your master track, I created a quick little demo song with this guitar tuned down to drop F, using my Fortin Nameless Suite from Neural DSP as my guitar tones. Let's jam real quick. Let's see what this thing can do, huh? Yeah. So, in my opinion, everybody, what a beautiful, gnarly sound, you know what I mean? With a combination of this guitar, Neural DSP, Fortin, Nameless, and Mixia, it's a win-win-win, you know? So, if you guys want to grab DistroKid and use Mixia, you guys can use my affiliate link, sign up with my link, it helps me out, I get a commission, full transparency, it helps out the channel, and it helps you guys as well, okay? You'll get 7% off your first year when you sign up with my link. So, a huge shout out to DistroKid for always being so good to me and us here on the channel, and I'm just super stoked to continue to use Mixia for the foreseeable future, man. It makes my mixes sound phew, monstrous, and I love it. So, talking about the Firefly Baritone, are there any negatives? Honestly, I think there's a big negative right here. I don't know if it's a design flaw per se, but check this out. Because this is a 30 inch Baritone, when I put on brand new strings, I purposely didn't cut them to show you guys. Now, this is the low F right here. That was like the full range of the string, meaning like I didn't cut that at all. That was almost barely enough of, 
of string <laughs> I could have got. You know what I mean? So um, basically, I'm unable to like wrap around the string, create a little bit more tuning stability because I'm out of string and there's no locking tuners here. In order for this problem to be negated, I'll have to upgrade the tuners and get some locking tuners. But you guys see what I'm saying? Like I can't do the traditional like old school wrap around the post of the tuning peg to create a little bit more of a, you know, a tight um, tuning stability thing. You know what I mean? Like I just, I'm out of string. So I found that to be rather pro problematic. I could have did it on the higher strings, but you know, I just wanted to kind of keep it, I don't know, <laughs> symmetrical. Cause I guess I have a little bit of OCD, but yeah, just wanted to point that out to you guys. Another thing too, take it with a grain of salt as this guitar is under 200 bucks, but this does have a pretty steep and sharp shelf from the neck to the fretboard. Um, the frets aren't sharp at all, but the fretboard edge itself is pretty steep. So not a huge problem, but I know a lot of people are sticklers for that. But again, take everything I'm saying with a grain of salt. This thing was like 160 bucks, you know? Last but not least, the pickups, they're okay. Gets the job done. Um, one thing I find rather problematic with a 30 inch baritone tuned down to drop F, humbuckers don't necessarily do it for me. That's what kind of why I've always loved the Jazzmaster single coil sound. Um, so maybe if I was to able, able to swap out the pickups and create maybe some sort of push pull pots and get a single coil sound in here, or get a new pickup that is a little less bass heavy and I can you know, just get something that fits in that lower register a little bit better. Long story short, man, the pickups are okay, they're fine, they're, they get the job done for a stock guitar, but in my opinion, I think I will definitely be a lot more happier with, a, with an upgraded pickup, in my opinion. Nah, man this thing rips dude i'm just so stoked and so thankful that my mom picked me up something really really cool and uh you know this is becoming my new favorite baritone for the foreseeable future so everybody with that being said what do you guys think of this guitar leave your thoughts and opinions down below in the comments and i'll meet you down below okay thank you guys so much for watching if you're brand new to my channel be sure to subscribe with that being said i'm out of here y'all stay safe stay healthy stay metal see you guys next time later